morning, children of God, uh, especially those of you who call Prince of Peace uh, Catholic Church and School your spiritual home. Um, it's 8.30 on Wednesday morning that this will be airing, and another week without a school mass. It's kind of sad, but I hope that you've had a very good week. Uh, I know it's been a little bit difficult to uh, kind of be in the house, but I'm sure that you're coming up with all kinds of fun and exciting new creative ways of doing all kinds of things. So it's kind of an exciting time to be alive. So today is the Feast of the Annunciation. Now, you know, in our Adoration Chapel, we have this beautiful triptych, uh, which was made for our new church uh, 16 years ago, I guess now. Uh, and you can see the story of the Annunciation and Christmas at the same time. So it's kind of fun. So you have Christmas here, you have the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph and the baby Jesus there. But then on the sides, you have the story of the Annunciation. Right? where you have the archangel Gabriel, who is announcing to Mary that she is going to be the mother of the Savior. So it's kind of a neat thing. So I'm holding the rosary here because the Feast of the Annunciation is a perfect day for us to pray the rosary. Do you know how to pray the rosary? If you don't know how to pray the rosary, then uh, ask your parents to teach you. And if your parents aren't quite sure how to pray the rosary, there's all kinds of like fantastic online resources. And you can even look it up on YouTube as well to learn how to pray the rosary. The rosary is one of my favorite prayers because it's one of the things that you can take with you anywhere. And even if you don't have any rosary beads, did you know that God gave you a rosary on your body? Did you know that? Ten fingers for ten beads and for ten Hail Marys, right? So God even gave you a rosary on your body. So there's no excuse not to say the rosary, even if you don't have any rosary beads, okay? Now, on the Feast of the Annunciation, we are reminded of the fact that God loved us so much that he sent his Son into the world that those who would believe in him might not perish, but have everlasting life. So it is a great day. It's nine months before the Feast of Christmas. Now, when your mom and dad had you, you know, you were in your mom's tummy for nine months. And so the first day that you were there is called the conception. And the last day is your birth, right? So you celebrate your birthday. And so we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation, the first day that Jesus was in the womb of the Virgin Mary. And that those whole nine months, it's kind of a neat thing. I hope you have a wonderful feast day and you're able to celebrate. So why don't we together say a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs> 